That plan failed miserably. Just failure after failure. Can never win. Huh? Hey, who are you? Get. Who's that? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> They saw me. God damn it if they saw me. I'm so screwed. Oh, failure after failure. What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. What? Everything's falling apart. Is this really how this ends? This thing I've built up towards just falls apart before it even starts. I wasn't even close. This can't be the end. Because I know what arrives at the end. I have to keep trying. Because what arrives at the end is, well, you know. It's me, isn't it? And who might you be? I am the thing you fear most. That's impossible. Oh, is it really impossible? Dear friend, I think we've reached far past impossible. You. I, I remember you. You're... The one from that little VR game I used to be trapped in. What was your name? Grim Foxy? I knew you were supposed to symbolize death, but... I didn't think you were literally going to be death. Death is only one you imagine it to be. Mr. Afton. So, have you come to take me back? Take you back? <laughs> yes, I have. I'll tell you what, Mr. Grim Foxy. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, we'll have to see about that. <laughs> oh, almost got me there. So, you wanna play mind games, do ya? Fine, I can do mind games. Oh, God. All right, that's enough. You can't run from death for much longer. How? Only I may bend reality. I think you need to stay in your own playing field, buddy. You've since long escaped my playing field. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken so many innocent lives, Mr. Afton. And sure, some weren't so innocent, but is that really the point I'm trying to make? Not only have you evaded death on multiple different occasions, <sighs> but you've technically found a way to evade hell. And that wasn't exactly something I had planned to be on my bucket list. Go away. I've been your cause time and time again. I've earned this. You cannot earn what is inachievable. But I have achieved it. Don't you see? I am a god. Oh, let us test that. Fine. Be my guest. <laughs> Do you really think you stand a chance against me? I 
I can do this all day. There's something I realized during our little debacle. Is that to succeed, you must overcome your fears. And haven't I already done that? So then why do I still fear you? I may never go explained. But one thing is for damn sure. I will overcome you again and again and again. Until eventually, to the thought of you, I become numb. You are nothing to me. You are a mere puppet tangled in the strings, puppeteered by a god. That must mean uh, those organs. It must mean it's Halloween. Yay! Oh man, I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of the year. You got spooky stuff and scary stuff, and you know I get to make all sorts of cool rituals. Speaking of which, <sighs> hmm, let's see what would be fitting for Hallow's Eve night. Well, now Hallow's Eve was last night. Tonight is Halloween. No, oh, we did that last episode. Mm. Huh? Hello? Hmm, that's not ominous at all. <sighs> Damn, this guy's fat. <laughs> Alright. Hello! <whistles> Earth to Frankenstein. Huh. Wait a minute. He looks a little different, but I think I recognize this guy from last year. It was like a costume that Nightmare Fredbear wore. Wait. What if that costume was based off a real person? And that person is this guy? Uh-oh! I, 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 I gotta figure this out. <laughs> Awake! Awake! Uh, he's not alive, I don't think. Hello? Earth to... Okay, maybe there's something in my spell book that can talk about this. Yeah, the Curse of Dreadbear. Dreadbear is a mystical entity often made fun of in modern day due to the lack of evidence of his existence. But it is said by historians that he could still be around today. Little evidence has been known of his existence outside of this photo, which historians believe could be real, but could also be faked. I mean, it's in black and white, but- Ah, God, I got the real Dreadbear in my house. That's not good. Wait, do we even know if this guy's dangerous? Normally he's asleep for long periods of time, but you can wake him up with a ritual. Ooh, that sounds like just my kind of thing. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, I should have this right. So this poem should be on this page. Huh, that seems highly familiar. Oh, whatever, I'm pretty sure it's not licensed material. Ade do dambala. Give me the power I beg of you. Mortis melu da fa de moi vachete. I don't know if I'm reading this right. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going anyway. Endela por de bosse dumbbella. Awake! Oh, the lightning happened. Awake! Wake up! Well, that stinks. Jesus, what? what's with all the shouting? Springtrap, what are you doing in here? Oh, well, Spring Bonnie, you see, I was just. Ah! Hey! What did you do? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Good evening. I see I have awoken. What year is it? Uh, it, it, it's 2021. Goodness. It's been quite a long time since I've last risen. Uh, when was that? 1493, I believe. Wow, this dude old. Hmm. Your lair appears to be quite nice. 
Well, thank you. Uh, she sleeps like every Tuesday, I think. Yeah, I try to keep up on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice. This town, I assume, must be vast in its nature, is it not? Eh, it's not really a town. It's more like just one house that we all share. It's like 40 people in here. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's not bad. Sometimes I'd like to leave the room. Well, then. I do believe I should be allowed to take it for my own, should I not? Uh, repeat it? Young boy, I'd like to know your name. Uh, first name Spring, last name Trap. And you? First name Spring, last name Bonnie. Well, Spring Trap and Spring Bonnie, bow to your ruler. Or, or what? I will unleash! The wrath of a thousand suns upon you! Spring Bonnaby, we can't just give up like that! <laughs> <laughs> I sense mockery has been made of my legend. I, the almighty Dreadbear, shall thrive. I sense the one that brought me here, Nears. He is the key to my salvation. Oh, well, actually, no, I, I was the one that brought you to life. You are of no such honor, mere mortal. The one that brought me here is the glitch trap. Who's that? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Glitch trap? Glitch trap brought you to life? Wait, but I thought I killed that guy. Glitch trap? Yeah, I thought we killed that guy. We killed him like a while ago. Oh, 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 foolish creatures. The glitch trap is certainly still at large. And you two will take me to him. Wait, but we don't even know where he is. Yeah, we literally thought he was dead like 30 seconds ago. Well, you better find out how. Or else I will do the thing I mentioned mere moments ago. Uh, okay, uh, where do we start? Do you think I have any idea? Oh, uh, God, you might as well just electrocute me now. I didn't mean it, I was joking! <laughs> wait, 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 if Glitchtrap's still alive, maybe Vanny knows. Vanny? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Vanny. Yeah, maybe she knows. Wait, but if she knows, do you think Vanny's evil? She could know he's alive without being on his side, you know. True, but why wouldn't she tell us? That's a good question. Take me to Glitch Trap now. Hold your horses, buckaroo! We're still trying to find out where he at! Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, let's go find Vanny. Maybe she knows. Yeah, you're right. I shall follow. Yeah, Nightmare Bonnie was thinking about doing something evil this year, but he didn't want another Dread Bear incident. <laughs> oh, good to know he doesn't want to, uh, you know, make another mistake like that. Yeah, the whole thing was stupid. Speaking of that, have you guys found Nightmare Fred Bear yet? Hmm, gone without a trace. Oh, hey, nice costume, Foxy. Foxy? Who's Foxy? I be Captain Blackbeard of the Seven Seas. Now, get out of my way. I must find my son. He must be around here somewhere. Did you guys hear something? Mm, I don't know. Hey, uh, there's a Halloween party on the street. I'm gonna go drink. So, uh, see you guys later. Bye, Weathered Foxy. Yeah, good thing that stupid Dreadbear thing was just a joke and wasn't actually real. Heh. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys seen, um, Vanny around? We're trying to help a friend out. I thought I heard someone saying that the Dreadbear was stupid. Would anyone happen to know? Or perhaps I misheard. It was the guy. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? Then you shall feel my wrath. Oh my god. Is he gonna be okay? You walk it off. Wait, so you guys said you needed to find Vanny? Well, that guy's preoccupied. Yeah, uh, Dreadbear needs to find him. Well, more importantly, Dreadbear needs to find Glitchtrap. Hmm? Glitchtrap? I remember you telling me about that guy. Didn't you say you killed him? I thought we did, but apparently no. He's alive. So we assumed that if anyone was going to know where he was, it was Vanny. I thought I saw her walking by, but I really don't know where she's at. She could be at the Halloween party on the street. Yeah, Withered Foxy said that there was something like that. Halloween party? We could go look. Yeah, that'd probably be a good place to start because that's where the most commotion would be. All right, let's go. I'll go get Dreadbear. Oh, you will know from this day forth to fear the Dreadbear. Come on, Dreadbear. Wait, no, I'm not done. Come on. No. 
You know, I don't even know who set this whole thing together, but this is honestly a really nice party. Yeah, I know, it's pretty great. Why are you sitting under that monkey like that? I don't know, he's kind of nice. He says compliments to me. Ew. I'll tell you what, this is a pretty cool party. Ah, it's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's going on, guys? We're down Oh, hey, what the fuck? Yeah, I was saving you a beer. Oh, give me that. Oh, that's really cool. out of festive little cups. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, oh. Woo! I'm gonna get crooked. Well, that's gonna be an exciting night. Whoa, this is elaborate. There's so many people here. Yeah, I know. Have you all found the one that we need to find? No, oh, yeah, Dreadbear. We're gonna start looking. All right, you take that way, I take this way. Okay. I'm going to follow her. Has anyone seen Vanny? Who? Oh, uh, she looks a little like me, but she's white. Uh, she has red eyes, a little stitched accents on her. <laughs> Doesn't really ring a bell, sorry. Hello, mortal. Whoa, bro, nice costume. Costume? This is no costume. I am Dreadbear. <laughs> Whoa, okay, you don't gotta go all extra with it. Yeah, dude, it's just a party. No need for the RP. Uh, hey, you guys seen Vanny around? Hmm? Mm, I don't think so. You're talking about the white bunny girl, right? Yeah. No, haven't seen her. Mm -hmm. How come you're looking for her? Well, we kind of find a guy that needs to know where she is and all. Interesting. <laughs> hey, uh, do you guys know what those three wine glasses are for? They look kind of important. Uh, no. There was only one rule on the door. Did you read it? Hmm? I didn't see a note. Well, anyway, I saw it, and it read, uh, Don't touch the wine glasses. They're for our special guests and myself. Who's myself? That's the thing. We don't know. Whoever's hosting this party. Wait, you're telling me everyone came here and don't know who the host is? Hmm. Figured it's someone here. Huh. Weird. Well, anyway, it doesn't seem like Vanny's here. Mm, I guess this is a dead end. The guests of honor, please come to the main table. Thanks. Wait, was that Vanny's voice? I didn't know they had an intercom system in this house. Who are the guests of honor? Not sure. I repeat, could the guests of honor please come to the main table? You know who you are. Hey, Spring Bonnie. Yeah? You heard the intercom, right? Yeah, something about the guests of honor? Why? You don't think it's... That didn't sound like Vanny to you? You don't think those glasses are for... Us? Hmm? Where is she going? Wait, spring bonnet, that could be poisoned. I mean, there's nothing in it. Maybe the glass has poison on it. Fine, I'll put it down. <laughs> uh, spring trap? What? Oh my god. Where did everybody go? Even that dreadbear guy's gone. Was, was this just. Tr a, a trap? Oh, but I thought that was supposed to be your thing. Or rather, mine. <laughs> it's Glitch Trap! W what do you want? Where's Vanny? Vanny? She's not here. Oh, my worthy little follower. She ran off from me. I know, it's so sad. I could just drink my worries away. <laughs> <sighs> No, rather, when you have powers like mine, you can sound like almost anybody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <sighs> I needed that. <laughs> what do you want with us? And who's that Dreadbear guy? Was it just like an illusion? Oh no, Dreadbear's very real. <laughs> Release me! I think I'll pass. Besides, you can join your little friend. What is this place? Where am I? Oh, you've been brought to life, my friend! Who are you? The one and only! <laughs> Alright, you should take a chill. <clears throat> I have to take with my guests of honor! Sit down. Have a drink. 
I'm not drinking that. Yeah, you've definitely poisoned this. There's no way. Oh, come on! Would a poor sinner like myself do something so cheap? I'm not someone that would just take a knife and stab someone in the back when they're not looking. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not like that. Besides, I don't drink anyway. Fine. More for me, then. Oh! Ooh, talk about buzz. Mm, I'm a little lightweight. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had a drink in a long time. <gasps> but this is a night of celebration, my friends. What? Celebrating what? You still haven't explained why you brought us here. Because things have finally started to turn around for me. <laughs> I mean, why else would I make everyone, including the both of you, aware of my presence? I hid all too well from the rest of you, which meant I had the upper hand. I don't get it. Like, look, it's fine, whatever. You're doing this, your whole thing. But how did you come back? We killed you. I trapped you in that VR or whatever. You were gone. You, you, were, you were history. It's a little thing called manipulation, my friend. It's to teach you that no matter what you do and no matter where you go, I always come back. You're crazy. What do you want? Oh, just a little proposal. You give me my greatest assistant back, and then we'll talk. Your what? Your greatest assistant? What are you talking about? Vanny! I'm talking about Vanny! I know you two took her from me. I know what I saw. She can lie and pray to me all I want, but I know she became fantastic friends with the both of you. You took her away. You turned her off my side. Because why would she want to give up the bond we had? We were like a family. And you too? You just tore it away. Right out of my fingers. I haven't seen Vanny in months. I haven't even seen her since Easter. And even then it was brief. I honestly thought she might have knocked us out. Yeah. I thought she ran away. It was very faint. Hell, I don't even remember that day. I'm not even sure if she likes us. You're lying. You're lying to me. How would we be lying? Why would we want to lie to you? We don't want anything to do with you. So then, why has she run away from me? After everything we've been through? Maybe because you're a terrible person? You ever thought about that? Maybe she ran away from you because you were treating her poorly. Maybe she's been a reluctant follower all this time. Oh, really now? I don't think I'm quite convinced. Not like I expected you to be. You're crazy! Alright. Plan B. Don't tell me where Vanny is right now. I'll cut your heads off, burn your bodies, and pound your ash into the dirt. We really don't know. Don't you think we would have told you by now? What leader do you think we have? I mean, I'll give you an answer. I'm not really sure. Charlie, Emily, somebody, Henry, maybe, maybe even Shadow Freddy came back from the dead. What are you talking about? I don't know if he's dead? Yes, he is. And I should know, because I killed him myself. You're insane! Oh, am I? Because you're me, after all. And if I'm insane, that makes you insane, too. What are you talking about? Oh, if only you knew how deep this rabbit hole goes. Your life is far more meaningful than you think. Oh... I knew expanding to multiple locations was a bad idea. I knew building more than one spring body was a bad idea. And if that were the case, if I only built one, then you know, I wouldn't have to deal with you. I'd only have to deal with your insolent, naive little sister. I don't even know how that works since you two are also technically the same person. Charlie has a weird way of bringing things to life. I'm done with the monologuing. Tell me where she is now. Hey, boss. 
Oh, I knew they were hiding you from me. Oh, those little worms got in the way, didn't they? What are you talking about? Oh my god! Bonnie Springtrap, what are you doing here? He trapped us. He's trying to say that we, we like, pried you away from him or something. I, I've hardly even talked to you since, we you know, we helped you out. You think they did this? Did what? I've been meaning to tell you this for a while, Glitchtrap. You're an awful person, you know? You treat me like garbage. You don't even find me useful, do you? Danny, that's far from the truth. You're my greatest assistant. Don't you think I would have used you in places? I just couldn't find a spot to work in, you know? You helped me jumpstart all of this. Just because you don't have powers like the other four doesn't mean you're not useful. And I am so close to bouncing back from all of my failures. If you're about to tell me you're about to ditch me like Chica and Roxanne, then you can kiss that plan goodbye. Yeah. I might have been planning on it. But you're lying to me. You hate me. Why would I ever do that? Because you've been neglecting me for all this time. You've yelled at me, you you treat me, you abuse me. That's that's all you've ever done. I'm no assistant. I'm your slave. Look. I'm sorry, all right? A lot's happened today. I've had a couple of recollections. Maybe yours is the most important of all. Fanny... You're... the most important person to me right now. I need you. Please. Just realize what's important here. You were nothing before I found you. You were small and pathetic. But now you're more! Are you ready to make this commitment? Because what you say right now will determine your place in this world. So tell me, are you ready? No. Because guess what? You don't need me. You need that suit. You don't need me. You never needed me. You never needed Vanessa. You needed Vanny. Your little puppet. I don't care what you do going forward. Because I'm me. I'm my own person. That's a person in a rabbit suit! Fine. You've given me the perfect idea anyway. It's okay. Ow, you're not an animal. Yeah, I, I haven't been for a while. Hello, Manny. You're the better one of the two anyway. <laughs> Hi, boss. What you need from me? Anything? I'm all the best attributes of her anyway. Agility, the speed, the mind, the killing. I can do whatever you want. And you don't need the back talk. <laughs> I like this new you. I do too. I knew it. You never cared about me. <gasps> maybe I did before, but the moment you told me that, yeah. In my mind, maybe I thought that, but I was deluding myself. I really don't care about you. I care about the Vanny that'll listen to anything I say. One where I don't have to hear her constant chattering about how, Oh, you don't think I'm important. You don't need me here. You like everyone else more than me. Boo-hoo, grow up. You're a 23-year-old adult. Put the pants on in the relationship. God. Anyway, now that I don't need you, my plan can go into motion. I'll use your new... Replacements and the other two glam rocks to find my last remaining two keepers. And once I find them, I have the missing piece, the bestowment that I needed all this time. And then finally, I can kill that pathetic girl and her stupid father. And I can take over this place. And if I ever have a happy little accident, I'll always have a backbone to correct it. Oh. What are my manners? I'm getting out of myself. You three. Kill them. Good job, you can't do this! Oh, I can, and I will. This is your fault anyway. You reap what you sow. I gotta get back to my best assistance. God, this is the end. Oh, God. What have I done? It's not your fault. We'll figure out a way out of this, right? Yeah. Well, we always figure out a way out of these kinds of situations. This can't be the end. This can't be! Them. 
Dave ready? Not quite. Oh, I'll explain when we get there. Who are you? The founder of Fredbear's Family Diner. <laughs> 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 Go! Guys, come on, let's go. Just leave him here? I'm sure he'll be fine. He looks like he's a better fighter than the rest of us anyway. <laughs> Afton told you not to make a move on him, Henry. He told you he'd kill you if he took anyone else from him. Oh, I only have. Girls! <laughs> All right, our work's done. Let's retreat. All right, move out. Wait, what about the other glam rocks? We'll get them later. This is already a victory with what we have. Let's not try and push it. Come on! Jacob, we better go while we have time. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. The boss is not gonna be happy about this. <laughs> I warned you guys. I warned you. Part of me has a feeling the boss planned for all of this. I mean, besides, think about what he told us yesterday. <laughs> I'd recognize those giggles anywhere. You are no death. Merely of someone playing the part. <coughs> I should have known. Death can't find me. Decided to come crawling back to your old pops? I don't know why. You could have stayed hidden all that time. Yet you chose to preemptively encounter me all alone. Though I've got to admit, you know my weaknesses better than anyone else. Or should I say your little partner in crime did? She did play the part of death much better than you. Though I'll playfully admit, you had me for a second. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? Oh, Evan, Evan, sweet, sweet. Evan. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure. Are you gonna hurt me? Like you did before? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. I wouldn't call that hurting you. I'd call that some. Endeavor is in the name of science. That doesn't answer my question. I've been looking for you for a while. I had a feeling you weren't gonna let go of me so easily. I can't believe that Charlie and all the others worked so hard to give you your happiest day. And you stomped them into the mud. Well, that wasn't entirely my decision. You let Cassidy manipulate you for so long. You're stronger than that boy. I raised you better than that boy. Are you going to kill me? Is that what you're going to do? At least kill me so I can be with Michael and Elizabeth again. <laughs> no, 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 no. That'd be too good for you. You see, Elizabeth, she made me proud. Well, Michael was my undoing. Michael still did the things I told him to. He was a stubborn chap, but he was a good boy. Just a little zombified, if you will. But you, you went before I could make you useful. And that blasted puppet and your other tantalizing half took you away from me. We 
have so much father-son bonding to catch up on. I don't want to be around you. I want you to leave me alone. You're a disgusting, wretched old man. You should have burned in hell a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were always the follower. Cassidy said that to me more times than I could count. You're a sheeple. You're a follower. You've amounted to nothing throughout your entire life and your entire death. <sighs> Which makes you useful. Dad? Ooh, those are, that's not a word I haven't heard in a while. Uh, that just tickles my fancy. Yes, my dear son, what could you possibly request of me? Can you... Show me your face? Because... I, re I remember... It was a long time ago, but I, I remember there was a dad that... Used to comfort me when I was sad. A dad that used to protect me when I was being bullied. And a dad that told me everything was going to be okay. But not like this. You, you, whenever you look at me like that, I think you're going to hurt me. So... Can you at least show me the side of you that loved me? Because I miss it so much. Unfortunately, son, I'd love to, but I can't do that. Why? <laughs> I've been lying to you this whole time. I'm not your father. I'm merely binary code. A bunch of ones and zeros in a line to make up whatever the hell this thing is. I'm merely man meshed with metal, meshed with code. I'm merely an AI. A faulty virus. I don't remember my own. So then where's my dad? If it makes you feel any better. Burning. Burning. And burning with the demons he sowed. But I, the Malware, am sought to carry out what he started. I will reap what he sowed, and I will always come back. Wow, that was uh, a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. So, you finally understand Montgomery's past. Yeah, uh, a little bit better. I think he's got, like, trust issues and stuff. So I get it. But how do I help him? I mean, that doesn't really, like, give me a whole lot outside of what he's been through. I could tell him I get him, but, I mean, unless I, he somehow believes me about whatever the heck just happened here, uh... He, uh, doesn't really care, I don't think. Normally, I only give information. I don't help people with their problems. I'm not a therapist. Okay. But, I guess since I like you, I'll make an exception. What thrives in the mind does not thrive in the brain. A lack of perception will drive one insane. If you look hard, there are problems you'll find don't always land on their kind. You've seen them before, you'll see them again. They never give up, 
he'll never give in. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's a riddle. Oh, God, I hate riddles. Uh, can you repeat it? Glammy, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Monty. Um, yeah, uh, hi. Uh, what's going on? Uh, listen, I, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about the whole thing that's been going on with the us and the boss and everything and how you've been really stressed lately. Ugh, tell me about it. I don't know if I have much confidence in our upper airs. Yeah, um, I just kind of wanted to let you know, uh, that, how do I put this, um, I'm here for you? Well, like, I don't know. I don't know what you've been through. Maybe I kind of do, but yeah, but I, I, listen, I, I've been through a lot, and I think you've been through a lot. So, you know, I have this mutual respect for you, you know, and I, and I, I, I really like you as my friends, and we're like, we're like brothers, you know. I, I figured we'd stick through this together, and I, I listen. Both the girls left, and it's just left me really worried about you. I don't, I don't want to be the one last one. I don't want to leave you as the last one either. I just, I just want to be sure we still got this, man. I, I'm worried about us. Well, that was hastily put together, but I understand where you're coming from. I've been through a lot. I'm sure you have too. And what we have now is a uh, pretty special. So. Whatever way you want to put that word special. Glammy, I appreciate it. Really, I, I kind of thought I was alone on all this stress. So, it's nice to have someone to talk to about it. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm here for you, you know? Feelings mutual. <sighs> Thanks for all the help, Blackbird. What? You know, Blackbird, he's standing right here. He's the one that to told me about how to fix this whole thing between us. But Blackbird? Who the hell is Blackbird? What are you talking about? He's right. Oh, shit. What did he... Glum, you lost your mind. Wait, I... I, I, I he was just... <laughs> Damn, you're really stressed out, dude. Okay. Whatever. Hey, you're all right, dude. Yeah, I done me wrong. I appreciate this, but I swear to God, he was just standing right there. Well, isn't that wonderful timing? Hey guys, how have you two been? Uh, we've been... Recollecting? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, I guess. Good to know. <sighs> Whoa, that seems a little excessive. Yeah, who's the kid? I don't think you two need to know that all right now. <laughs> oh, shut it, you'll walk it off. You seem like you're in a better mood. Let's just say, everything's coming up glitch-trap. My day started off kind of bad, but then it got a lot better. I'm in a great mood today. Well, that's good to know. Anyways, you two all right? Oh, we're uh, fine. Food is a fiddle, actually. We uh talked about a lot. You? You asked me a couple hours ago. Not great. Now, a lot better. I was ready to get this whole family thing on the road. What are you implying? Now that I have my piece of the puzzle, I can finally put this damn thing together. I don't need this little sponge anymore either. say that. More like he found me. But then it just became as easy as taking candy from a baby. I think you'd know a lot about that. So, uh, what are you gonna do with me now? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd just wipe your memory of this entire experience and let you go. And what's not in normal circumstances? Right now. Ah! 
Don't hurt him, Dad. Hey, Squirt, you might want to stay out of this one. I'll be all right. Been through a lot already. Ah, amazing, isn't it? Where sheer force can get a person. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Can you put me down? <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that. You see, friend Bear, I've got other plans for you. Remember this little guy? And I've got a little plan for you and him. Good game a cat and mouse can get a man started in the morning. Spring trap, spring trap, spring trap. If only Charlie decided to stay in her lane, maybe you wouldn't be so bothersome right now. Then again, it's my fault for making multiple suits for different locations. Or else she wouldn't have anything to base him off of. Agony thrives in many forms. So, family. Yeah, boss? You guys ready for this next mission? We're gonna get to the heart of my greatest rival, because I know what scares him. And I'll keep him awake for as long as I want. That's true. Hmm. Well, guys, let's get these three up. Let's prepare for our next mission. That's true. We gotta get the girls back. Hey, Vanny. You doing okay? <clears throat> Oh, I'm doing just peachy. Wait, do those guys get away? Oh. <sighs> well, that stinks. Whatever. Let's go find Glitchtrap. I'm sure he has the next plans. Well, that doesn't seem a lot like you, Fanny. Uh, did you switch to a new leaf that fast? New leaf? What are you talking about? I've always served my master Glitchtrap. I should never appease anything he ever says. He's my master. I mean, why? He knows everything, doesn't he? Uh-oh.